The sight of a big buck in the fall with a giant set of antlers is almost a mythical dream for many hunters. Among hunters that practice quality deer management, it's been a camp debate for years. At what age does a whitetail buck have its biggest set of antlers? Four and a half, six and a half, eight and a half? Everyone has their own opinion and their own philosophy. But what does the data actually say? Hey all, BA here. Whitetail deer antlers contain bone with the fastest growing tissue in the animal kingdom. Deer antlers can grow as fast as half an inch per day, and unlike animals with horns, deer lose their antlers and grow them back throughout the year. They start growing in late winter and early spring after they lose last year's set. During this time, blood feeds the antlers until late summer. That's when their fuzzy velvet sheds as the antlers begin to harden. They continue throughout the fall using their head ornaments as weapons, defense, and a visual cue for sexual viability for females. That's all fine and dandy, but when does a buck have its biggest and best set of antlers? Well, antler growth is determined by nutrition, age, genetics, hormone, injury, and disease. Now, we're not able to control all of these factors, including genetics, hormones, and the health of the animal. But nutrition can be altered by humans and is one of the most important aspects of a buck's antler growth. Generally speaking, after a buck gets older than one and a half, they should take in a diet of at least 16% protein and have access to calcium, phosphate, and other trace minerals to see maximum antler growth. Now, according to one study in Texas, nutrition can add about 37 pounds to a buck's overall weight and about 17 inches to a score. It's almost impossible to completely change a deer herd's diet without being in a highly controlled environment. One thing that is absolutely determined by hunters is choosing to or not to take an animal at a given age. Dr. Hewitt said, age is one leg of the stool that is most easily managed. Based off of Mississippi State and Texas A&M Kingsville study on antler growth, we can get a pretty good picture on average when bucks will reach their full Boone and Crockett potential. Starting off when a buck is born, he will generally have visible nubs at about four to five months old in the fall. At one and a half years of age, the following fall, a buck has his first set of real antlers and is a little less than 30% of his future potential. So a lot better than the year before, but not much in the scheme of what he can be. At two and a half years of age is when he takes his biggest jump, more than doubling in size to about 60% of his future self. Now we're getting into some big boys. At three and a half years old, a buck is on average 80% of his full potential. If a deer is 130 inches at three and a half years old, then his projected score is 160 inches. Four and a half years old is when a deer is physically mature and at about 90% of his antler potential. So if a deer is 130 inches at four and a half years old, he's projected to be 145 inches at maximum growth. This is the age at which most big buck hunters start targeting their bucks. At five and a half years old, a buck is at 98% of his top potential. This is when, for all practical purposes, a deer is just about as big as it's gonna get. They are in peak form, both physically and with antler size. Six and a half is where the study found the majority of bucks topped out at 100%. After six and a half, antlers begin to get smaller and they start going downhill. So that answers it. A deer gets its biggest rack at six and a half years old. Now you know. But keep in mind, these numbers are averages, and individual deer are different. The antler size can vary from year to year based on almost a countless number of factors. But this gives us a concrete average to base our target age class. Now, there's a trade-off between increased antler size and age. Each year you allow a buck to get older, you drastically increase the chances of that buck turning nocturnal, and you'll never see him again. He moves his home ranges, and you'll never see him again. He'll decrease in size for any reason that are out of your control and even natural mortality based off of natural predators or humans. Also, aging deer four and a half years old and up is hard, even for the most serious and seasoned big buck hunter. It's summed up pretty well by one of the most notorious bow hunters of all time, Don Higgins. Most average hunters cannot properly age wild whitetail bucks on the hoof. Even with the considerable experience I've had in hunting mature bucks, I find it very difficult to age a buck after it reaches four and a half years of age. The only way I can do it with any degree of accuracy is if I've watched him grow up. However, I do believe that I can age bucks up to three and a half years with about 95% accuracy. Now don't forget, antler size is not the end goal when we're out in the woods. If you're not out there to enjoy the outdoors with your friends and family and to create new experiences, then you're doing it wrong. Now remember, aim small and good luck.